Gamers, hello. It's good to see you all. Hi. Thank you again, Scada, for making that emote for us. Thank you. Hope everyone likes using it. Hi. <laughs> it's really cute. Well, it's good to see you all. Hello, hello. Uh, oh boy, oh, hold on, let's see. Bear, thank you so much for the 20 month resub while I was offline. Thank you. And Corvus, thank you for the 21 month resub while I was online. Thank you. <laughs> and then Zorb, thank you for the 85 streak. Thank you. Uh, it's good to see you all. Happy Wednesday. It is a daytime stream. Hooray. Uh, I've had serious stream withdrawals this weekend. <laughs> uh originally we were gonna hang out on discord on monday but i had some sort of like stomach bug i don't even know i um i felt very ill um on monday so i ended up postponing that to today so in case you missed the stream today or you just can't get enough um we will be going well not live but we're gonna hang out on discord after the stream uh we're gonna play well we're gonna watch a movie and then on the Patreon hangout, we're going to play something. I don't entirely know what yet. I was thinking either um, the Risk of Rain because I found a mod that I really like. Or uh, maybe do some prep work for the events, uh, for the event coming up. Uh, hold on, I need to put my pinned message on YouTube. If you're enjoying the stream, consider hanging out with us over on Twitch. Okay! Right, uh, but it's good to see you all. She missed us? <laughs> I did miss streaming a bit. I feel like after, after like, two days of not doing it, you kind of, you know, you're like, oh my god, how do I stream again? <laughs> It feels like you've kind of forgotten how to do it, you know? Uh, my weekend wasn't all that eventful. I took the weekend off to hang out with some friends um, because I knew I wouldn't be able to for a bit over my birthday stuff. Uh, and I just wanted to rest for a bit before my birthday. Um, so we hung out, we played some games. Uh, Risk of Rain was one of them. We checked out a few new mods and I found my new favorite character to play. So that's fun uh what else did we do i can't even remember <laughs> oh deep rock uh yesterday we played some dark tide which was super fun uh but yeah other than uh, catching up with friends and hanging out a bit i also just spent my weekend doing prep work for the event and that's going pretty well uh i have pretty much all the important stuff prepped now which is good there's one more redeem i want to set up before uh Friday, but that shouldn't be too difficult. Chris, thank you for the 85. The cursed liquid Morkite layout. Oh my god, I don't know if you saw me tweet about that. Um, but we had this, we did this liquid Morkite mission, I think on Sunday, and it was the worst liquid Morkite layout I have ever seen in my life. Um, there was a, a an oil spring right above the pump station. So we we ended up building the ramp by spiraling it up the hole the pump jack came out of. <laughs> it was horrendous. And the others were like really high up too. It was pretty bad. But we did it. And I was like, guys, I really want to record how we built these these uh, rails. And they said, okay, sure, you can do that after we, we're done with the mission. So we're done with the mission. And uh, a bulk detonator and an oppressor spawned. And they were like, Corey, hurry the hell up. <laughs> we need to get out of here. And I was like, I'm going to, I'm going to record our tracks. So... <laughs> I went and I recorded it, and you can see in the recording the um the oppressor <laughs> interrupts my my uh my rail grinding a couple times. That was pretty fun. What is a pipe if not a roller coaster? Those were definitely the most roller coastery pipes uh we've ever built. It was it was really fun. 
Uh, then we played Content Warning as well. And I, I, I posted a short clip of that on Twitter as well. Of uh, me filming and, and Gov interviewing things. We got this, like, this, like, microphone in the game. And it kind of works like a walkie-talkie in a way that we can hear the other person no matter where they are. So we gave that to Gov. And then, uh... He just walks up to the Cthulhu guy and goes, Mr. Cthulhu, Mr. Cthulhu! Mr. Cthulhu, do you... <laughs> so, it was, it was like, it was so fucking good, man. It was, it was a good time. So yeah, I, uh, I mostly just had fun over the weekend and prepared everything for this week and the next week. Uh, I started preparing stuff for that as well. Uh, so... Yeah, I had a pretty okay weekend overall. I'd say it was a good weekend. I hope you guys had a good one, too. Um, unfortunate that I had to take Monday off, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, so, yeah, no, lots of games, lots of prep work. I had to do, like, all my thumbnails in advance. I'm working on next week's thumbnails in advance as well right now. I got all the collab thumbnails done, uh, which is good. I don't even know. Did I even tell you guys about the collabs we're going to be doing next week? I don't know if, if you guys want to know so far in advance. Um, but we have three collabs planned for next week. Uh, and I'm really excited for them. Uh, I have one more piece of news to speak about. And um, I know this will make at least one person in my chat very happy. <laughs> When I was ill on uh, Monday, um, I decided to cuddle up in bed. And I was like, well, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, and I sat there for about five minutes thinking about it. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to watch Free Run. Uh, because, you know, not just people in my Discord told me that I should watch it. But also my friends, they were like, Corey, you need to watch Free Run. Like you're you're gonna love it, and I was like, okay, sure, I'll watch it. So I watched I watched four episodes on Monday. I was gonna watch more yesterday, but I I didn't end up having the time. And uh, when people said that I would love it, I thought they would love it. They thought they thought I thought. Oh my god, I can't speak. When people said I would love it, I thought they said that because it was a good show, not because it was literally made for me to watch. <laughs> what i like in media so it's good it's very sad but it's very comfortable as well i watched four episodes the last episode i watched was when she met with aizen again i don't want to talk about it too much in case people want to go in blind but i'm really enjoying it and i'm gonna see about watching some more over the next few days i've been watching it dubbed i know this might disappoint some people but i've been watching it dubbed and it's been pretty good I was ill! I was dying in bed! Okay, I was not reading subtitles. <laughs> uh, but it was good. I really enjoyed it. It felt like watching the opening of Fellowship of the Ring. Uh, as in the opening when they're uh, at the Shire. Not the, not the dramatic... Uh, not the dramatic voiceover about the war. <laughs> Thank you, Flit. Yeah, please lurk on YouTube if you can. It would it would really help me out. We're making good progress uh, on the watch hours there. Uh, so yeah, free run is really good. I'm really enjoying it. Hopefully, I can make some more time to watch it tomorrow. I'm gonna be busy all day today, so um, yeah, I'm I'm enjoying it. It's been good. Okay, I don't know if you want to know. Yeah, because sometimes when I want to tell you guys about things that I have planned, there will be people who are like, oh no, keep it a surprise. So I don't know. I don't know if you guys want to know the collabs I have planned, or if you guys want to be surprised at the end of this week. Take one more stab. It's the first I've ever been from the subs. <laughs> I also started watching last weekend already episode 17. Yeah, it's a very easy and comfortable watch. Spill the tea. Okay, so. Uh, this weekend, you already know what, what streams are planned. Uh, we're going to do three long streams back to back. Three long streams. I'm putting up three fingers. <laughs> 
Have you made plushie drawings for everyone you're collabing with? Yes, but I didn't share what games. So, I will now share you. I will now share with you the streams. But yes, this this weekend we're gonna do three long streams back to back, like ten hour streams. Uh, we're gonna do Ocarina of Time on Friday, uh, Metroid Dread on Saturday, and then Hi-Fi Rush on Sunday. I don't think we're gonna finish Hi-Fi Rush in one stream, but we'll see. We might be able to. We'll see. Please don't die after three streams. I will be taking Monday and Tuesday off, most likely. <laughs> I already have planned to take Tuesday off. Monday, I'm not, like, 100% on yet. But I will definitely be taking Tuesday off. Um, Wednesday, as in one week from now, is as of yet undecided. So is Thursday. Uh, I imagine we're gonna do Fury and more High Fair Rush at some point. Um, but I also want to keep days open to do incentives on as well. Uh, Friday the 26th. Do you reckon a wave toggle for the model will be possible? Uh, yes, but I would have to get art and rigging for it done. He okay, here's the thing. If I were to get upgrades for my model, uh, plans have changed quite a bit. So I don't really, I'm not really going to have like incentives up for model stuff for now because i might have to get i might have to look into getting my entire model re-rigged if i want to get future upgrades but that's a uh future me problem uh but that's another reason why a model outfit isn't a part of like the stretch goals or anything um but yeah it's possible i mean you've seen it on kieran's stream kieran has a toggle for it uh it's just not in the realm of possibility right now um anyway so for the 26th uh we are going to do a four person collab drum roll we are playing mario party 3 with kieran coco and risa look at this cute thumbnail i made <laughs> uh fun fact uh coco kira and i have never played mario party 3 and Ima Kuni speedruns it. <laughs> so something tells me uh, we're gonna get our asses handed to us, but it's gonna be fun. Uh, I'm sure it'll be fun. We're gonna play it over the uh, Nintendo Switch Online, because apparently you can play online over that, so I'm pretty excited. Then, so this is the first out of three collabs over the weekend, okay? This is for the 26th. On the 27th, I'm going to do a long stream with Kita! And we're going to do a cross game randomizer. I'm going to play Ocarina of Time and he's going to play Hollow Knight. Yay! That's going to be really fun too. <clears throat> That's me! Yay! <laughs> and then on the 28th, we're gonna do a long stream with. Drum roll! Horatius! Horatius and I are going to do Elden Ring co op, and he's gonna carry me. <laughs> so we're gonna have three collabs next week back to back. Uh, I wanna play a caster in our Elden Ring collab. So we'll see how, how that's going to go. Uh, so yeah, that's next week's streams. I don't have anything planned for the third week yet. <laughs> uh, so hopefully I can think of something. Yippee! Thank you for the streak, Tico. Thank you. Was Rogue Quarry? Yes, we'll, we'll see. I already have a character idea um, in my head of what I want to play. Uh, so yeah, lots of very exciting things next week as well. So not just this week, but next week also. Oh no, don't oh no that! I, on I only have great character ideas. Corey, can you yell Corey Blast every time you use Comet Azure? I don't know what that is, but maybe. <laughs> oh my god, excuse me. 
the third weekend to do just says survive until <laughs> yeah maybe bloodborne pepperoni 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 was really good pepperoni was an s tier character bless you thank you thank you i had a really bad sneezing fit earlier today <laughs> Hi, your ex. Uh, so yeah, please look forward to next week's streams as well as this week's streams. This weekend is just self-indulgent weekend of I want to replay some games. And then next weekend we're going to do a one million collabs. And then the weekend after that, I don't know yet. Maybe we'll do some more Zella randomizers. I don't know. We'll see. I like Peppy Roni. She reminds me of Lego Island. Peppy Roni is really good. <laughs> Um, so yeah. self additional soldier interaction, question mark, question mark, profit. Okay, I want to, I want to address one more thing, which is, um, why the hell do you people keep buying out my throne? <laughs> okay, let me rephrase that. Thank you so much, everyone. For buying me throne gifts over the weekend, even though it is not my birthday yet. Um, the Psyduck has been fully funded. Kita bought me the Sea of Stars uh, art book that's coming out. And then Biken uh, bought me two crochet patterns. Thank you so much, everyone, for your support over on Throne. Um, these were items I added. Well, okay, the Psyduck has been on it for a bit, to be fair, after I got peer pressured. The uh, crochet patterns, I thought, were, were cute, smaller gifts. And then the art book just came out, like, yesterday. Or just went up for pre-order yesterday. And Kita was like, let me just buy that for you real quick. Um, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, but my birthday is on Friday. <laughs> no, my birthday is on Friday. Friday, 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 Friday. Not today, Friday. Come back on Friday and wish me a happy birthday then. How about that? Bad. <laughs> um, I also set up new redeems, by the way, for um, Friday. There's one more I need to still set up. And then uh, I was going to announce that I fixed my peak redeems. Um, but I don't think... They were fixed. I mean, okay, here's the thing, right? I adjusted the values the model is going to be like set to during and after the peak. But it looks like every time I move my phone, it puts the model somewhere else, right? So this is the default position I set it to yesterday. See? That's not right. That's not where it should be. Uh, so I might have to figure out a thing that I can set up at the start of every stream where I, like, recalibrate my default's model, my, my model's default position or something. As if I don't already have enough to do when I go live, but whatever. Song is so good. This part of the song is like, the whole song is fucking good, man. It's peak. It is peak. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much. Speaking is hard for a VTuber. It's a bit hard. That's okay. Um, so yeah. Also, one more thing. And I'll mention this again on the day. Uh, so my plan was to accept uh, direct donations for this event. And I still will. Um, in case people prefer that. However, I learned uh, via testing. That... Uh, Donations made through the website don't play an alert on stream. Uh, so if anyone chooses to donate via the website over the other means available, uh, please let me know so I can check it and thank you because they don't have um, alerts. I did consider a workaround for this. Hi, Corvus. I did consider a... Uh, workaround which is allowing people to add a free download to their cart and then checking out with an optional donation i thought that might work but the thing is uh even if you if if you put something up as like a free download on the website 
Uh, it'll ask you for your like address and stuff like that, which is fucking stupid. Um, so I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> uh, but if you do decide to donate via Fourth Wall, aka my website, aka this link over the event, please let me know because otherwise I will not know. <laughs> um. But we have alerts for everything else. Also, I uh, reworked my alerts for Twitch. You will probably see it later as well. Um, and to that extent, I also changed uh, bit alert variations, which you can read up on uh, somewhere. I think I have the link posted on Discord and on the uh, like monetary support panel on the stream. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I've been working a lot on cleaning things up. Can you donate anonymously? Uh, yeah, if you just, like... I mean, maybe leave the... name... empty, you should be able to donate anonymously? It might still show your email. Hold on, let me see. I, I sent myself a donation just to see how it would work regarding, um... Uh, the alert, like if it plays an alert or not. So I can tell you what it shows because I donated to myself earlier, <laughs> like the other day. Um, okay, it does show your email, so it's not entirely. Um, it's not entirely anonymous, I suppose. But I'm not gonna like you know check people's fucking emails and stuff like that that's just weird but it shows your email but you can leave uh the name empty if you want it to be anonymous and i won't you know hunt you down i won't send you an email hello i noticed that you uh donated anonymously but i thought i'd thank you anyway just to make everything awkward for us both eight thousand two hundred wait eight hundred and twenty five thousand more points for pox time you're not graduating the next five years are you um um, never say never. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what I'm going to have for lunch tomorrow yet. Okay, don't ask me about my five-year plans. <laughs> Anon, you have been missing from stream. I'm not being parasocial. It's true. Jimmy can't just make a free email burner account for one-time donate. So true. Um... So yeah, I'm not a fan of accepting direct PayPal donations because it's a fucking nightmare to deal with PayPal. Uh, so I hope people understand that I'm doing this for the safety of both of us. If you don't want to do that and want to do completely anonymous stuff, you can just gift subs anonymously or cheer anonymously. I'm not your mother. <laughs> Figure something out. <laughs> It's a shame people can't buy or gift uh, stream loose packs anonymously. That'd be nice, too. Well. Oh, also, uh, I'm gonna enable bonks with bits as well over the um, event. So everyone's getting extra value for everything. But I, I need to... Hold on, I need to actually write that down so I don't forget. Uh, okay. Um, right. There's a lot of updates. I'm gonna post about it on the Discord. Can't wait for you to be bong for five minutes nonstop after someone donates a hundred, a uh, ten thousand bits. Yeah, we'll see. Um. I'll make a formal announcement about all the changes I made on the Discord. Um, so everyone's aware and to make sure I didn't forget anything. Corey's hand so you can wave. Great assets, such value. If you're gonna redeem that as a damn shoe on head and I need, I'm not cutting it out. I'm telling you right now. Someone else can do that work for me. <laughs> uh, which hand should it be? Maybe the right hand in which case... 
I don't know how to draw a hand, guys. This is like the one thing I... Ha well, not the one thing I haven't learned how to draw still, but one of the things I haven't studied how to draw. Actually, this is not too bad. Maybe if I move... Oh, you can't rotate and paint, can you? Help! I don't know how to draw! I'm looking at my own hand. And then I have my glove like that. <sighs> I don't want to color this. <laughs> what a pain. <laughs> what have I done to deserve this? Oh! Okay. There, I see it. I fucking hate the bucket tool, man. Yay! There you go. Who a bucketing they tool? <laughs> Good enough. Uh. Corey's hand. Corey's hand for wave asset. I almost posted on the wrong Discord channel. How embarrassing. It's a handle. It's true. Okay. Today we are playing more Small Saga. I know I've been talking about the end of the week a lot. But today there's also a stream. Uh, so we're gonna be playing some more Small Saga. I really enjoyed it last week. It was very fun. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to make a little bit more progress in the game. It was, it was fun. It was cute. Uh, and then tomorrow there's also a stream. We're gonna check out No Rest for the Wicked, which is, uh, a new ARPG coming out. I'm pretty, uh, excited to give it a try. It'll be in early access tomorrow. Um, so it, it'll, it'll, it'll have just come out. But I thought to give it a try. Because I thought it looked pretty good. Not Path of Exile kick way. Dude. <laughs> just dude. <laughs> I need a croak cat, okay. Mm. I don't really know what croak cat. Hmm. Maybe the crow cat artist. It's been a little while. Okay. 
What did you guys do this weekend? Do you have anything exciting to talk about? Anything you want to share? Um, I mean, I already told you guys I mostly play games and did work. It was good, though. I, I enjoyed taking a, a, a bit of a break from everything. Thank you for the hydrate. You can make a crow mouse. <laughs> It's also already the chef one. You can kind of stretch the definition of that one to be about rats. Most exciting plan I have on weekends is I have work. Oh, man. This weekend I suffered, but now I'm recovered. Yeah, I read. I'm glad you're feeling better, Gaia. It's some cleaning in the garden. Ooh, nice, nice. Enjoy your pack of cards, Don. I saw my family install their new bathroom sub and vanity. Oof. I love TTRPG work was fun. Wait, I was hoping to play TTRPGs this weekend, which is kind of one of the reasons I took the weekend off. But then uh, one of our players didn't show, even though he said he would. So we just played games instead. My work weekends, I just sleep, game, eat, and fulfill any obligations I'm required to do. I hope it's not too bad. Well, I have an understanding boss when the Lurgy hits like a truck, yeah. And I mean literal boss. <laughs> I assume that it wasn't about me. Also, uh, let's do a quick thumbnail check before I go on break. Oh man. <laughs> Hello, Chad. I don't think this works very well. Maybe if I put it like here and then I zoom my model in. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Chad. Hello. I hope you're all well. This is my real hand. <gasps> ah! <laughs> no! <laughs> Stop that. Give me my arm back. All right, there we go. This is good. Hello, chat. <laughs> doesn't it doesn't work too well <laughs> everyone that likes pyro raises their hand on stream now <laughs> i guess i guess it kind of works how about i give you a slap chat <laughs> I'm karate chopping you. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I got hit with some bad news yesterday, so I haven't been in the best of moods. Oh, I hope you feel better soon, Cheeto. I hope I hope things will go over well. You've got me in a choke hold. What about this chat? I still hear the karaoke version. Yeah, the karaoke version that was completely off note. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I hear it in my nightmares. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like this is more convincing than just one hand. <laughs> Do 
Can't open your wise eyes wide look like caught. I want to take a screenshot. Did it work? <laughs> Did I hold still for long enough? <laughs> it kind of worked. Chat is covering the hand. Alright, get the fuck out of here then. <laughs> no, I wasn't ready! It work? It worked! I got it, I got it! I, I took the screenshot myself. <laughs> okay, you can stop! <laughs> you can stop! It's okay! Oh, that's pretty good. I'm looking at the screenshots. They're they're pretty good. Okay, what am I gonna do with this shoe head though? <laughs> what am I gonna do with this? I don't want to have my hand out here the whole time. Hold on. What if a third hand? Hmm. What if I put it behind my model? I could attach it to the tail. <laughs> but then you can't really see it. That wouldn't that would be no better than to just refund the card. There you go. Okay, I'll get rid of this and I'll refund you the shoe on it. That was pretty fun. <laughs> Messing around with it was pretty fun. Oh, to touch a fluffy tail, punish him on my death. <laughs> okay. Who removed the blue from the blue raccoon? Someone was it. The color changed. <laughs> okay, let's see. Thank you for the tail pots. I guess. What are you guys most excited for regarding the event streams? I I know I've told you about a lot of the big streams now. What what, what are you feeling, chat? The OOT streams. That's why I wanted to do Ocarina of Time on my birthday. Because I didn't want to be completely rusty when, when I did the combo randomizer with the uh, Kita. <laughs> I like how different all the collabs are as well. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited for the Mario Party, to be honest. Yeah, I think Mario Party is going to be really fun. I am... Uh, I am excited for all the streams. Honestly, after how much I was thinking about how... Um, I wasn't sure if I would enjoy Souls games anymore. 
I am uh, very excited to be doing... Also, sorry, the gears was kind of quiet. I turned my mind down. Um, I'm honestly really excited to do this co-op stream with Horatius. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay. I'm going to go uh, on my break and get the game ready. Um, since I'm done yapping. Thank you for coming to the yapping show. Um... And then uh, we'll get started with Small Saga. Let me get the... Let me get with the words on stream. Yapping section of the stream now over. We can leave. <gasps> How could you say that? How could you do that to me? Right before I put on words on stream too. All right, I'll be right back. Hello, we are back. We are so back. Hi. <laughs> so back. See, uh, the default positioning thing really doesn't work. I thought I fixed it yesterday, but I bet where you put your phone and how you sit affects where your model goes. So I'm going to have to recalibrate that at the start of every stream, I think. <laughs> but that's fine. I'll figure out a way to automate the process and then that'll be fine. Um, yeah, we'll have some uh, 
limited birthday stuff uh we have the uh we'll have the collectible card but we also have some new cards some uh temporary throughout the event and some permanent additions uh including the new sound card you voted to be added uh you voted for what did you vote for again Corey yippee right yes got a lot of votes i got 54 votes on that which i really didn't expect uh thank you Picho. Um, so yeah, I'll be adding that for Friday as well. So we're, we're gonna have news from those cards. Uh, the Zelda collection will be made available again. Uh, if you want to craft or get some cards from that, that will be available over the marathon as well. So there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. A lot of different ways people can support the stream. Um, I want to offer variety, more variety for people, you know, to... So that people can pick what they want to do, so. Um, rather than just uh, limit myself to one form of support. Um, okay. That being said, let me uh, get rid of the information we don't need. <laughs> the, uh, the Streamlabs goal that uh, BLT took care of. <laughs> um... All right, let's play some small saga. I'm uh, excited to play some more of this. Right, so we left off after we visit the castle. Uh, uh, what did we say we were gonna do next? <laughs> uh, I'm sure if we wait, we're, we're gonna travel, right? We're gonna travel to the next area. I think we are we're gonna meet up with the with the dove with the pigeon, not the dove again. I'm not entirely sure where though. Maybe we have to go through the city gate. Heck no. <laughs> Oh, okay. What? You two? Did you slug brains actually take the service tunnel? Do you have any idea how dangerous that was? Well, whatever. I guess you can come and go through the east gate from now on. Because my job is meaningless, apparently. Hmm, just go. <laughs> Are you serious right now? <laughs> That's so good. Uh, well, I guess we're going out again, back to the roof. Yay! Dizzy! Hey, you two again! The Bin Busters! Off on another adventure. Do you know the Squirrel City of Sky Garden? Yeah, yeah, of course! Actually, I just came back from delivering some oddballs that way. Is there a festival going on or something? A band of oddballs? Do you think it was Bruce? Well, he fits the profile. I hope he's faring well. He's a squirrel among squirrels. I'm sure he's right at home. Bert got things to do, so hop in the basket when you're ready. All aboard! Is he my boy? Okay, we got a couple new uh, places. Crown Bale. That's uh, where we started, right? Sky Garden. That's where we're gonna go. Is there... Ah, there you go. Question mark? Carriage Yard. Should we, should we check out the other areas? Oh, it's a, it's a train station, a subway station. Thank you, Dizzy. Can I move? This is... Yeah, nah, I ain't got a clue. Where are we? I don't think this place has a name. I'm just following directions on an old map. Oh, a treasure hunt. Yaha. I like it. Yar har har. Can I actually look at my map now? No. I want peace! <laughs> Oh, do we get to go on the train? 
I think we have to go on the train, honestly. How are we going to find our way back? Well... Goodbye, Siobhan. Oh no, so you're a dirty thief who's taking my treasure. Ha! Well, go on, take it. From one plunderer to another. Let's find a who helm. Who helm? More like my helm. Ha! What did you find? A cool hat. Oh, careful, Sir Verm. An old relic like that might carry all kinds of curses. Oh, please, I'm cursed out. One more couldn't hurt. If you say so. Ahoo! <laughs> I mask over well. Ooh. Minus five defense plus ten attack. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Well, I feel like it's a bad idea. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe once we have uh, Bruce back in the party, if we even are getting him back. No gods about, and these carriages don't look like they've moved in a long time. Guess that's it then. Hi, Gravity! How's it going? It's going! I had a good weekend. I prepared for this week and uh, relaxed for a bit with friends. It was, it was a good time. What's this? Here we are at uh, some god's dwelling. What are we doing here? I smell paint. I see no gods around, so I'm just going to go quickly nab some. Paint? It's for a side quest. <laughs> Sir Verm, I thought we were on an important mission. We need to find the Kaliak. Should really be doing side quests? Look, this job is nothing. It'll only take me a minute. If you say so, but I won't help if you get into mischief. It's a rock. Is it a rock? It looks like it looks like little turtles. It's definitely a rock. You're certain this is a rock. That's not a rock. It's a boulder. This is a godly paint. And a whole pot is small enough to carry. That's convenient. Pick up a pot of godly paint. You add it to your trinkets. I get the feeling those turtles are gonna... are gonna attack me. It was like a fun time. Glad to hear you enjoyed your time off. Yeah. Stop right there, thief! You dare to steal from our god? Ooh, the nerve. Ooh, the other... other cheek. I'm only taking a little. They've got loads. That's wrong! Stealing is wrong! My mummy and daddy told me so! I'm not arguing morality with a talking rock. Get out of my way. No, put the paint back or... or... I'll bite you! Could you help me out, Siobhan? Oh no, Sir Verm. You dug yourself into this hole. You can dig yourself out of it. Oh, fine. Oh boy. Oh man, I'm doing no damage. <laughs> oh, there we go. D -d 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 Daddy! Oh, he wears the little hat! What's all this fuss about? You're her father? Look, this is just a misunderstanding. Honey, you stole precious paint from the gods, and that beat me up! Oh, did he now? Hmm, another wannabe hero, is it? You put on a cape and think that gives you the right to pilfer things from houses and beat up little kids! No, that's not- I mean, she started it, but... Siobhan, you're good with words. Help me out here. 
I wouldn't dream of interfering, Sir Verm. This is your side quest. You've got this. I believe in you. <laughs> Your daughter's a menace, you know that, right? But Mirabella is an angel. <laughs> You swing that thing, you could take someone's eye out. Do I really need to come over here? Uh oh. You've done it now, lad. Yeah, mummy's gonna kick your butt. <laughs> I heard everything. Seeing from our gods, brawling and yelling. In this house, you're being a bad influence on little Murray Bell. Yeah, bad influence. <laughs> Siobhan, this one looks tough. I would really appreciate some help with this. Huh. It says here that mushrooms are more closely related to us animals than they are to plants. Isn't that peculiar? Yeah, that's bonkers, all right? The things you learn from books. I know you can hear me, Siobhan. <laughs> it's like kind of got to say, well, I never. And perish the thought. <laughs> it's cute. Okay, fine. Let's get this over with. Oh, cute. The little glasses. Aww. How can rocks talk anyway? How can such a small little mouse carry so much angst? Life has many mysteries. Whoa, that did a lot of damage. Oh. Hmm. Wait, on cheese, the Swiss knife is cool. Yeah, it's awesome. Wow, you're quite something. Maybe it's time for us to get serious. Yeah, what? Maybe, but then again, this mouse has only taken a very small pot of paint. Perhaps it was wrong of us to intervene. You may pass, mouse. The ceiling is wrong, mummy. Maybe so little, Maribel, but sharing is right. Our god has so much and this mouse takes so little. Where are we to deny him? So I'm free to go? Of course. <laughs> All done. <gasps> I leveled up. Grand, let's go. Guess who leveled up and guess who didn't? I, I bet you wish you had helped me out now, Siobhan. All right, let's go. <laughs> uh, maybe we should hand in the quest real quick, maybe before we move on. But again, I'm sure we'll come back to Merida later. Yeah, let's just go. Sasha's Murda, hope you had a pleasant flight. Well, uh, we'll come. We'll, I'm sure we'll come back to Murda later, so we can do that then. And if not, then we can come back here after. 
Okay, is this the place? Yes, Sky Garden. <gasps> Ooh, pretty! I love the I love the art in this game. It's so good. Oh god. I I still can't do the voice properly. <laughs> this is Sky Garden. This is my home? What's wrong? Sky Garden's supposed to be to supposed to be a rainbow. A tree overflowing with flowers of every hue and shade all year round. This didn't look anything like the stories my dad told me. Yeah, never heard of that flower stuff before. Sky Garden's a fortress, a military stronghold. No rainbows here. I see. Hey, no need to get down. Let's run over the de over details of, you know, Plan S. Right, the plan. Okay, so we're booked for performance with Squirrel Juke at noon. Bruce, you and I will walk in and play their socks off. Exactly. And then while Juke's court is distracting, I'll scale the outer wall, climb through an upper floor window, find the treasure room, break open some chests, and seal the pebble of skewn. Skewn? You know, it seems like I've got the harder task here. Can you manage it, Pocket? Are you kidding? I could do it blindfolded. Bruce and I will leave before Juke notices anything is missing. And we'll all be in the clear, pebble and paw. Hey, this'll be a riot. Uh oh, one more thing, Bruce. Really sorry to say this, Lapa, but you should tuck. The tuck? Your tail. Now I'm just gonna point. It's a dead giveaway of your uh, true colors. Ah, I see. I suppose it is, ain't it? But my dad's always told me to be proud of my tail. You have a beautiful tail, Lapa. But if grey squirrels sniff you out as a red, I heads will roll. Yeah, sorry, Lapa. Nay, brother. I'll hide it. Just for today. To survive. We're all set then. I'll see you both out here in a little while. I'll go tune my balalaika. Get you in the throne room. Balalaika. That's such a good word. I can do this. Well, the ear physics. I didn't notice them before. Cute. Yum. Sky Garden, the city of opportunity. Well, apparently it's more of a military fortress. <laughs> the solid gold statue of Juke Josh. It exudes an unprecedented level of arrogance. Juke Josh Glimmer, save your game. Yes. Come to Sky Garden, get out while you still can. Sword goes to the dungeon, but it ain't visiting time, bun. The troopers with colorful swords are the Duke's dozen. Keep your head down, don't make eye contact with them, that's my advice. Ooh! It's an enormous set of plate armor. If you wore this, you wouldn't even be able to walk. The shields have been painted with coat of arms, emblems of noble families. Is that a cat at the top? <laughs> the fish on the right is cute. That's cute. Man, making armor is my passion, but all day, every day, all I do is make and fix weaponry for the Duke's army. Feels a bit, I don't know, wrong, you know? It's a living. Sometimes you have to bury our pride to put food on the table, eh? Yeah, I suppose. Oh yeah, did you want to buy something? Maybe, what you got? There's some freshly forged plate armor in your size. Oh, just a basic cuirass with steel pauldrons and fold, you understand? Spolders are built in, sabatons and van braces not included. Oh, I. Those are the words. <laughs> you know, a bit loud? Alright, how is this? Oh, sorry, I got carried away. I'll make it simple. 20 seeds for this high-quality armor. Alright, go go on then. Put on, you'll be ready to take on the world. Come to think of it, why did I buy this? I've already gotten out before the performance. No refunds. All, all sales are final. Bruce refuses to take it off. Okay. It looks like inventory is shared between characters at least. Although I can't equip what the others have equipped.
Wait, did I interact with the... no. Are you friends with a little guy with a big guitar? He went upstairs. Y'all be careful now, the juke doesn't mess around. Those two creeps always give us weird comments, but it's not like we can say anything, you know? Every morning we line up uh, we line up pledge allegiance to the Wayward Star. Do y'all have that in Merida? I mean, sure, the colonel is tough, but the Blade Master's on another level. A stoat and heavy armor, that combo just has no weakness. Colonel Hawk, the Colonel Hank, wields an actual god cannon, just like the ones in the Wastelands. He let me hold it once, I've never felt- wait, did he say- oh, he said Westlands, not Wastelands. Holy, it's a bat! Why the screeching creature now on her world tour? The Duke banned me from playing anything but the Grey Anthem. One last gig, then I'm flying from this rotten tree. Yoink. <gasps> Oak and Ocarina! So they tell you that you're scheming against the Duke, so go ahead and keep that. Maybe it'll come in handy. Oh my god! Just like Ocarina of Time! Batches. Nostalgic to the ear! <laughs> See crude drawings of a snake like creature. There's also a strange note. Right, right, star. Right, thou, question mark, star. Right, thou, and left, up, star, question mark. I'm on a cryptid, suppose, a supposed wizard, lizard. Wizard, lizard. Of the gloaming woods. Let me know if you find them. Careful though, they might be dangerous. I'll take a screenshot of that. See a collage of rodent faces. These are all the people who have gone missing in the last couple of months. Once the Juke throws someone in the dungeons, there ain't no coming back. See a book titled Christoph the Wayward by Lord Master Tobin. It was during the reign of King John the 16th? When Christoph of Clan Grey set sail from the Westlands, he and his squirrel fleet pursued the so-called Wayward Star, crossing the treacherous open waters all the way to Rodentian shores. Lord of Skygarden Raybeard the Red greeted the new squirrels with customary grace, however, tensions between the two clans quickly flared. The book is sus. A squirrel fleet making the Great Westlands crossing on dinky rodent ships? Not a chance. If you want my theory, I reckon us greys came here with divine help. Donut shaped earth. Ah, yeah, that one's more of a work in progress. <laughs> yeah, our kid, I hope you're well. Ready for the big performance? Not yet. Oh no! I wanted to go upstairs, but. Aye, let's do this. My juke, it looks like your entertainment has arrived. Lol. Weather in lol! <laughs> Better late than never. What am I looking at here? Pleasure, me a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Maduke. We are Bruce. And Anton the Great. And we are honored to serve. Oh, your accents are pretty good. Is this a comedy skit? Um, no, that's just our voices. Shame. Maduke, I just have one question before we start. Where are all the flowers? Flowers? A rainbow of flowers is the signature of Sky Garden, no? Huh? It's really the time, Lapa. Rainbow of flowers? What century are you fellas from? That nonsense was removed when my great 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 grandpappy took the throne ba way back when. That's not right. The rainbow is the eternal symbol of Sky Garden. Spruce, keep calm. Wrong. The rainbow field was the symbol of Clan Red, weakness and degeneracy. The symbol of Clan Grey is the wayward star above a striped sea. It is a flawless emblem. The star stands for strength. <laughs> Look at the sprite. So good. Oh. Iron will! 
The seizing of destiny made manifest. Oh no, he's, he's passed out. For we are one house under the gods. Indomitable with freedom and righteousness for all. Uh, yeah, right ye are, Maduk. Enough patriotism. Entertain me. Ready, Lapa? Like hell, I'm not. Well, tough. No running away now. That's Pirate Tail Drover. That's a short one. Sounds good to me. Oh, my lead. When I say left, you press left. When I say right, I press right. So on for up and down. I know my notes. Okay, on my mark. Even Juke Josh can't help but smile. Lol, that was great. Good job. <laughs> you received 15 seasons of tip. Ah, yes. St Anton, how do you think Pocket's doing? Oh, God. Hey! That music's pretty good. <laughs> Wait a darn minute! I think I know this song! <laughs> ah! I can't remember the frickin' song's name! What's it called? Roaming Rodent or something? Pocket found the pebble skewn. He has it to his pockets. It's called Rat Tailed Rover. Ah, that's it. Thanks, pal. Wait, what? <laughs> all right, all right. That's quite enough. Not my usual jam, but I gotta say, you two put on quite a show. Um, Mr. Duke Josh, sir. Sorry to interrupt, and please don't be mad, but, uh... There's been a robbery. The treasury's been ransacked. What? Colonel Hank said the culprit was a lone jumping mouse or something like that. Oh, well, oh no, we're, we're going to get found out, Lapa. Keep it cool, babe. We can wiggle out of this. Lol, robbed by one mouse. Classic Hank. <laughs> Fucking squirrel, man. <laughs> it's true that Hank's buffoonery knows no bounds but still even the boldest thief wouldn't dare to rob sky garden alone if you want my counsel juke there's something more going on here a conspiracy huh you harlequin show me your tail very flattered my lord but you're not my type don't be weird i mean your actual tail there ain't much to see my juke just a tail do not disrespect me guards Hey, get your hands off me, you flea-bitten flag worshippers! <laughs> get your hands off my tail! <laughs> Don't touch us! Take the mask off, too. <gasps> That's interesting. Look at his flaming tail! What is the charge? <laughs> yeah. Take it in, ladies and gents. We are in the company of a very special guest. A squirrel of Clan Wren. Haven't had one of you fellas this far south in, what, a hundred years? Lol. Hey, do you remember what the Kaliak told you? That thing about Railbird returning to take back his throne? Lol. lol, lol. Shut up, Lord Master. This ain't Red Ray Raybeard. Just a pair of prancing fairies. Juke, we're not here to take anyone's throne. 
please understand. I, I just wanted to see my home, to see my heritage. My heritage? God, this is beyond cringe. You just said cringe? This is too much. <laughs> Guards, take him to the dungeon. Lamia, execute him at dawn. You heard the Duke. Move it, you two. I'll see you two in the morning. Right around breakfast time. Perishes. I don't want to be eaten. It's okay, we can get out of this. Will we, though? Shut it and move it, you two. Is his name Larry? What's this? New prisoners, Larry. Yes, Captain Aiden, sir. Convicted by the Duke on grand lar larcens larceny, de degeneracy, and treason charges. Such a list, my oh my. And where are you taking them? I'm escorting both of them to a uh, cell 1D. Putting two friends together in the same cell? Larry, that's a basic mistake. S sorry, Captain. So what do I do? Just remember your ABCs from your training. Oh yeah, uh... C is for, uh... Cage. Oh yeah, cage and separate. Keep your friends apart. You got it, man. Great job. Thank you, Captain. You must hand it to you, fellas. Your ethics are lacking, but your workplace professionalism is top-notch. This one is lippy. Put him in 2E. With the dragon? She's kind of psycho, Captain. Exactly. She'll teach this one a lesson. I'm scared, Lapa. Hang in there, babe. We can find the way out of this. Hey, hey, no touching. Get them out of here, Larry. Remember to confiscate their instruments. Yes, Captain Aiden, sir. The dragon, huh? <gasps> Is this the dragon? <laughs> it looks more like a mouse or a rat. Well, well, well. A fool enters the dragon's lair. Hey, I'm no fool. And you have no dragon, are you? I've seen no wings or scales. No wings, no. But even a grounded dragon has teeth and claws. Sooner. <laughs> I think we got off on the wrong paw. Let's start over. What are you in for? Same thing as you, like. It's no place for queer folk in the free land of Sky Garden. Aye, but specifically. I head on Blade Master Lamia. Eh? You talking about the full metal stoat? What can I say? She has a great smile. She'd eat you given the chance. Gods, I wish. <laughs> In any case, I thought she was one of us, but clearly I misread the situation. Because the next thing I knew, I was taking a steel gauntlet to the face. Hard a sponge I've ever felt. Must be why they call her Alamia the Peerless. Aye, she did look pretty fierce. Her name's Bruce, by the way. Gwenlian of Neodi Duai Gwynion, the Hall of the White Gods. But Gwen is fine. I guess I should get comfy, enjoy my last meal or something. Yeah. Wanna escape? Already. Yeah, I've been sitting here in a, like a caged pet for a month. Like, arrival is an opportunity. I'm not wasting it. I'm breaking out today. I mean, yeah, escaping sounds great. But you're not going anywhere chained up like that. Right, you are. So getting out of these shackles is step one of my three-step master plan. The Kagwin, keep the key for this ball and chain nearby. If you fetch it, I promise to get you safely to the surface. Tip for tap. See a key from the guard at huh? Aye, I might be able to do that. Ah, but this door is a problem. You think so? Give it a proper shove. Well, first I'm gonna save my game. Well, she's already in my party. Remus of moldy breadcrumbs is not Vi's gourmet cuisine. An ensuite bathroom, very fancy. Oh, it actually opened. Yep. 
But the warrior locks rusted through. The cats go in the uniform just haven't noticed. On that note, those idiots will be doing regular patrols. You're unarmed, so stay out of their line of sight. Got it, I'll be as quiet as a louse. I'll just snap that key, then I'll be back here before you can say hard time. The fool has spirit, but does he have skill? Ooh. Ah, I got the key, now to get back to Gwen. <laughs> oh, she's already free. Hey Gwen, look, I bought- I brought the- You're already free? We're taking too long, time is fleeting. Why did you send me out searching for a key if you could just break- if you just free yourself? That was a test of your abilities and of your character. You passed both with flying colors. Okay, sure, but the uh, how? Light comes off. What? Light comes off. <laughs> what? Okay, this conversation is getting tiresome. Let's move on. Step two, taking back our weapons. My glaive is being kept in a storage room on this floor. That's where your weapon is too, I bet. Right, my weapon. I did bring a weapon, like... Oh, I am not much of a warrior, but I brought the tools of my trade. Kraken! We've still got to stay out of sight until we get our weapons. But from here on out, the red dragon will lead the way. Got it, I'll stay close to your tail. Oh, she has a scalpel. Looks awesome. Shade for sensitive skin. Gonna use her piercing life to smash the defenses and wreak havoc. Three bleed. Well, guys are busted. Gwen's attacks do 50% extra damage against military personnel. Ooh! Extra damage to bleeding targets. Ooh! You can't be out here. I'm dragging you back to your cell. Oh, man. <laughs> I thought maybe if I uh, squeeze close enough to the... Uh... Oh, God, I forgot about this one. <laughs> I thought maybe if I, uh, squeeze close enough to the wall, I could, like, take the corner, but... I think the guards would get curious about how we're escaping. Not the brightest bunch, that's for sure. Okay, here we go. chocolate the guard stashed this for later mm. there we go this is it the storage and contraband what the hell is that in the corner on the left and this is my glaive Fierce weapon, specialty of White Hall. It features a 15 centimeter grooved grip for maximum reach. The stainless steel material provides unparalleled hardness and durability. 
And of course, the crescent curve blade is more than sharp enough to cut anything that moves. You sure like weapons, huh? You all have hobbies, so where's yours? Here we are. It's a flute. Made of wood. I think. <laughs> I see. Is it a gun flute? <laughs> Hey, don't underestimate the power of music, lass. The right melody can thaw a frozen heart or tame a fierce titan. So, what's step three of your master plan? You bash in some guard's skulls and walk out the front door. Well, no, I'm not bashing any skulls. I'm a bard, not a fighter. Is it a principal thing or an uwu soft boy thing? Holy crap. <laughs> I just believe that all this violence gets us nowhere. If we treat each other with kindness and respect, the world would be a nicer place, no? Hmm, okay. I think I understand. I'm gonna kindly and respectfully show the khaki guarding the lift the edge of my- Oh, the khaki guarding the lift the edge of my blade. Sheesh, not dissuading you, is there? I'll just unsupport my own way. By tooting your flute. Aye. Hope that'll be enough for whatever we'll face. Let's move. Don't worry, ABCs, aim high, be proactive, cage and separate friends. Captain Aiden's smiley face. So Firestar is definitely a forbidden prison. Is this a weapon or a god toy? You cannot tell. You see a book titled The Rat of War. <laughs> By Sun Shrew. <laughs> the strike to an enemy's shield afflicts a defense break, wherein the enemy will take increased damage from successive strikes for a small window of time. An opportunity to go on the offense. Conversely, a strike to an enemy's sword afflicts an attack break, wherein the enemy will find their own strikes to be weaker for a small window of time. An opportunity to recuperate. When a warrior learns to balance their offensive and defensive measures, then they will have learned the key to victory. Say positive work hard and get it done, Captain Aiden. You see an incredibly lewd magazine titled Squeak. <laughs> what you got there? Oh, smut. What do you think, Bruce? Left or right? Uh, it's gonna have to be left for me. How about you? Oh, I'd never choose. It'd be like only ordering one pastry from the menu of one of them fancy Muradin cafes. Not that I've ever been, but once we break out, like... Right, I understand entirely. Enough perving, let's mosey. It's an effigy, seemingly gone, mate. The features are exaggerated to the point of caricature. Why would a rodent have this? The effigy star stares blankly. Save your game. Group! <laughs> Chad! How'd you escape? Whatever, I'm taking you in. Nah! -uh. It looks like the scalpel can uh, pierce defenses and also uh, lower enemy attack. It's pretty good. Thank you for the follow, welcome in. Hey, Gwen. Yeah? Not to pray, but what were you doing in Sky Garden in the first place? I left my birth town a while back. It wasn't my scene, like. Since then, I've been searching for a place to call home. I heard Sky Garden was the city of opportunity, and I wanted to see that for myself. But you only found a city of scumbags, I... I was putting it lightly. But hey, if the cashmen here think I'm some sick and twisted dragon, I'll show them a dragon. My turn to pry. You were a mask to hide who you are, right? I am a squirrel or red clan. Clan red, even. 
We've already been outed, so why bother with the mask? It's like you're ashamed of who you are. Ashamed? Of course I'm ashamed. How am I supposed to stand proud when the mere sight of my face gets me locked up? I'm going to lock you up either way. Is it better to go down with your tail out and teeth bared? Long lift. <laughs> Thank you for the streak, okay. And that's okay. I know people are here whenever they can be, so don't, don't worry about it. Wendy, the sand in the cell. Your boyfriend? Anton, can you hear me? Bruce? You're breaking out already? Aye, <laughs> just a sec. Hi, Kano, I'm great, thank you. Gwen, can you pus bust the down. B bust this down. B bust this door down. Oh my god, I can't read. I would alert every guard in the prison. You're strong, you can take him. You flatter me, but no. Here's a better idea. The guard captain will have a master key. If we eat him up, we can open every cage in this kahoo hole. The guard captain. Thank you, twat in a big coat. Oh, aye, that one. I saw him on the way in. Sit tight, Anton. We'll be back soon. Stay safe, Lepa. Can we just fight everyone? I love my bludgeon. I call him Mr. Wacky. Wow. Yeah, I can bust it down. <laughs> Dude, Gwen's uh, shield break with Verm's rage is gonna be great if we uh if we can make everyone you know meet again i want this chest i bet we have to get it from the back though hi <laughs> solo what's it about busting it down we are busting it down you heard you heard us right <laughs> <laughs> Got some iron knuckles, they pack a punch. Oop, try to squeeze past us, did you? <laughs> Oh, I probably should have sword. Sword broke. because he was uh shield broken the other one was shield broken before so. i know the combat system isn't the most in depth but i think they did a really good job with it like it, it's it's very beautiful to look at Then apparently the little rogue threw his friends under the carriage and made off with the stone. Shh, never trust a rat. I think he was a Jerboa? Same difference. Ah, the dragon freaks loose! Damn it, I told you we should have taken her legs. Bruce, play some fight music. Aye, on it. <laughs> It made by one dude, wow.
Oh man. <laughs> You guys ever feel like you should make a game and then you realize you don't have any of the skills needed to make a game? <laughs> Oh, oh, but uh, I'm pretty sure Sweet Tune. Oh, never mind. We don't have enough energy. Perhaps, yes. <laughs> it was difficult or too complex, but could still make some wacky builds and enjoy it. Yard story music is the main draw. Yeah. Uh. I guess though we don't necessarily have to heal. Isn't that university very expensive? Oof. Animations are really good. Yeah, yeah, it's it's been it's been very good so far. right but it would be it would be fun to just try it just for the sake of trying it <laughs> you know Captain Aiden, as per your request, I have translated the operating instructions for the weapon codenamed Rex. He's hoping it isn't all bark and no bite. Regards, Plague Master Aquila. Oh boy. I like the exit sign. Alright, this is the stop of Sky Garden. Well, almost Sky Garden. Put your walking boots on. You can't get us any closer. Nah, no can do. Them grey squirrels are vicious. Not a maid who violated their airspace and the squirrel shot him down with a magic missile. No warning shots, just straight up. Pow! Then. That's horrible. Huh, yeah. Well, I better split. I've got a couple of other jobs booked. Makes sense. Birds got to eat. Exactly, birds gotta eat. I'll drop by tomorrow morning if you need a lift. Stay safe out there, mouse gang. Thank you, Dizzy. You too. Aww. We've had a dog. We haven't seen a dog yet. We've seen a cat. We fought a cat before as well. Taxi terminal, Sky Garden, Gloaming Woods. Oh boy, he's here. <laughs> oh boy. For Gilded Roy, so feared were he that Kristoff sought his head. But Sly where he took his chance to flee afore the charge was re read. We did take a screenshot of what I think are directions on how to get through this place. And Roy Right Right Star is one of them. So if this is Roy. And then we go right. What's up with this place? Every road looks the same. Maybe we should go back in those directions. Nah, not my style. Right, right. Chest. Hooray! Go to Penland, see, add it to your items. Yippee! And then there was right down. Uh, let's do left. No, right down. Oh, it resets us. Okay, right. Down. Down. Leave the hydrant in the stretch. No. Right. Down. Right? Yes. Ah! No! <laughs> Not a mimic. Uh. Uh. 
Get out of the box, you little twerp. <laughs> Time to overclock. Does it so much damage? Oh, maybe that means it's a crit, the little slash. Okay. Well, we can hand that into the spider in town. Okay, now, right down, left, up. Uh, right? Down? <laughs> okay, hold on. Right? Down? Left? Up? Up? No. Right? Down? Left, up, left, oh, stay back, there's a worm ahead, so worm, I think that's a slow worm, a slow worm, harmless I think, well only one way to find out, he's cute though, I'm well, travelers, you must be per particularly inquisitive rodents, for few are able to find me, and few are still there to approach. Well, because you're a venomous worm. A oh, venomous? <laughs> that face. <laughs> I am Seth, the friendly traveling wizard lizard. I merely seek knowledge to expand the ac academic frontier. Oh, a boffin. A ah, boffin? Well, in a matter of speaking, I suppose that the scriptor isn't inaccurate. In any case, perhaps we can make an exchange. Teach me something I do not know, and I will pay you in return. Something you don't know, all right. Uh, Krakens! Krakens, you know, the mythical deep-sea denizens, they're... real. I fought one myself in the Muradin Labyrinth. It has a dozen or so tentacles and spat an inky substance. Oh, interesting. I've heard rumor of tentacled cryptids, so it's good to have confirmation of their existence. I've learned something new today, and I appreciate that. Take this for your troubles. You see the zip zap potion. Risking gizzard, we found his lizard wizard. <laughs> for your wisdom, travelers, I will treasure it. Oh, well, I wanted to learn, help learn something new. It's big amphibious brewing. It smells like rose and honey tea with hints of lilac and pine resin. Mm. It was nice meeting you. Okay, I guess we'll continue with the story now. Which rodent stole the precious thing? Javari, Javari, and who shall be the trickster king? Javari, Javari. Got a lot of this guy. <laughs> well, we're going in. Love the Sky Garden, get out while you still can. <laughs> Ooh, Iron Knuckles are plus three damage. Grants a bonus turn. Ooh. I think I like the extra damage on, on him, uh, just so that he can use his rage more. I 
guess we're going up. Let's talk to the guy that was looking for the lizard. Why am I so... Took well for these, but then... Yeah, that was this. This is what we just did. I already found them. Can I not tell him? <laughs> I guess not. Trumpet is still passed out on the floor. Just to polish that land too, but I can't even lift the darn thing. Not gonna lie, it's gross that the Jew keeps a stoat on payroll. Just looking at that long necked freak gives me the creeps. Oh, I thought it was cute, kind of. Lands the army, don't touch anything. Just check out what I found in prison contraband. A godly fire starter, badass, right? It's here for 15 seeds. Deal. You received a zap wand for my precious prince is engraved on the side. Don't tell anyone, alright? If Captain Aiden found out, I'd get my tail grilled. Find a new weapon for Siobhan. Temperance. It's really cute. I think secrets for free, you know? Thanks. <laughs> oh, there's the uh, magic missiles, huh? Sir, don't touch the magic missiles. They're extremely volatile. I'm on the watch. Do, 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 do. And Donald up here. We'll get. Well, I'll get in trouble. All right, all right. I'm too smart to be robbed twice in one day. Get out of here, you two. <laughs> You see, Evan, and all, what it all comes down to is domination. That's the best feeling, the ultimate pleasure. Comfort, freedom, security. Sky Garden's got it all. And the best part is, the people want to be dominated. Sure, they whine, they complain, they make up words for you like colonizer and fascist. But deep down, the people don't want to think about their problems. They want to be controlled. So I'm just doing everyone a favor. That's my burden as the dominator. Uh, right, lol. What did I ask? <laughs> What's this? More entertainment? They aren't on the schedule. All right, what do we have here? A fancy mole and a raggedy mouse. It was a pleasure to meet your acquaintance, my duke. My name is Lady Siobhan of... Siobhan? Weird name. Spare the intros and cut to the chase. I'm looking for the yellow god of death. I heard some Kaliak of an ashen tower could help me find him. I want directions. Death gods and Kaliaks. Ring any bell, lore master? Lol, yes, of course. As a matter of fact. Nope, no bells rung. Our memories sure are foggy. But maybe the fog could be cleared with a small tribute to the throne if you catch my drift. A bribe? Do we look rich to you? I don't know, bro. Bet that thingamajig on your bag is worth a pretty scene. My sword. Yeah, so you're gonna pay th tribute? The sword is mine and mine alone. Keep your grubby paws off it. Show some respect, little mouse. Or someone might get eaten. Your Sky Garden's Blade Master, right? Can't say I've met a stoat before, much less fought one. Funny, because I've killed thousands of your kind. Oh my god! <laughs> Chill out, you two. Chill out. I don't want to get blood on the throne room floor. Tell you what, Mouse. I've got... You've got spunk, and I don't like that. But what? So Evan here will teach you... Tell you where to go to find the Kaliak. Free of charge. Uh... Won't you, Evan? Uh... Oh! Oh, yeah. I got... I got you, Juke. Lol, lol, lol. Right, so head southeast of here, and you'll enter the glowing woods. It's a maze. To find the eggs, you gotta follow the winds. I don't do riddles. It's not a riddle, lol. You literally watch the wind and follow where it goes. It'll lead you to a giant dead oak tree. That's the Ashen Tower. 
Climb the top and you'll find your Kaliak. Send her my regards. Then you'll get your wishes or magic gold or whatever it was. Is that simple? Yep, that's simple. You're clearly pulling my whiskers. Wouldn't dream of it. So I'm, I'm skeptical too, but it's worth a try, right? Thank you for your time, Duke Josh. It's nothing. Go. What a pair of dummies, lol. Now, where were we? Ah, oh, yeah, the best pleasure, domination. Is that truly the best pleasure, Duke? For some, nothing is more pleasurable than a full belly and the company of friends. Is that so? Do you hear that? Music? Sounds familiar, you don't think. Bruce? Bruce. And it's coming from the dungeons. Oh no, what happened to him? Where does the Harlequin and his pals try to pull a fast one on the Duke? Thieves get the death penalty, no chance for clemency. So he's performing his last concert. That's awful! Yeah, it is. But it's not our problem. Not our problem? Bruce helped us get through the labyrinth! Only after lying to us about its dangers. He's a slimy worm. But he's a friend. Barely know him. Not my fleas, not my circus. I'm leaving. Ah! I'm not running away. Sir Verm? Are you sure you're okay? Am I... Yeah, of course. Are you sure you're shaking? You don't look okay. I'm fine. I just realized that you've got a point, that's all. We should break annoying clown out of prison because we might need his help to climb the ashen tower. A hard one to read, Sir Verm. Ah, his evil eye, he can't contain it. <laughs> okay, well, um, I've got an ad coming up, so I'm gonna take a, a break now so we don't interrupt the the prison break, I suppose. Uh, but we'll be back in about uh, three minutes or so. Thank you for your patience. Um, I appreciate you waiting through the ads and all. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying Small Saga. I think it's been it's been pretty good. Okay, I'll uh, be right back. Thank you for your patience.
Thank you for your patience, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Um. Hello. The Cory forget to turn autoplay on. Autoplay is not on. We only do one round of words on stream because one round is like two minutes. So if I were to start another round, my ad plus the autoplay, it would be like a five minute break rather than a three minute break. So you get to play one round and then you get to sit there for 40 seconds and wait. <laughs> Uh, the, I don't, I can't really do anything else other than uh, either have the ad break be longer or have you sit there and wait. Um, so I figured shorter ad break is better than longer break. So 40 seconds of suffering, yeah, <laughs> apparently. I'm, I'm going to eventually look into more ad break games and stuff, but I haven't really had the time of really uh researching it uh because i've been doing other prep work for the uh for the event at the moment but um it is on my list of things i'd like to do anyway hey we're visiting an inmate visiting hours are over bud that is unless you're willing to pay a small tribute all right i'll pay tribute i'll attribute a sword to your face wait what <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the background is so good. It's tribute time. Oh, damn. Oh, she already starts with an overclock. It might not be worth it to... to use overclock then. Ripples, holy crap. <laughs> tsk, tsk. It's, it certainly is noisy today. And a noisy environment is a bad work environment. Or is that aggressive flute music coming from anyway? <gasps> a breakout? A break in! <laughs> Bruce! Hey, Siobhan and Verm. To think I'd see you here of all places. Friends of yours? Something like that. This is Gwen. She's good at stabbing. Say no more. What are your orders, Captain? Larry, go inform the Blade Master of the situation. I'll start up that. Th that? Surely not that! Captain, it's too dangerous. The programming is unpredictable. Just go, quickly now. Don't let him... Ah, oh, shit. Look at you all, a bunch of freaks and degenerates playing with little go god toys. You know nothing about the capabilities of real god weapons. And you do? Clan Grey has been utilizing god tools for aeons. We know the devastating power that a real divine weapon can unleash. You see the gods and their wisdom crafted automated sentinels. Mechanized titans with armored shells outfitted for warfare. The shrews of Vinium captured one, and now we use it as the ultimate prison guard. You're bluffing. Yeah, automated sentinels? Mechanized titans? That kind of technology doesn't exist, godly or not. Metal Gear! <laughs> it's gotta be like a Roomba or something. <laughs> that kind of technology doesn't exist, godly or not. Oh, you want the demonstration? Oh, they did call it Rex! Like the Metal Gear. Would be more than happy to oblige. Find out if robots bleed. Tax Sentinel Rex. Aiden. 
not, but we lowered the other one's guards, so I don't know. Anyway. 29! That's pretty good. Uh, because we've been overclock active, right? Oh, that's not good. Yeah, the um, the actual cosmetics of the characters don't change, no. Bad. I was a bit worried for a while, but you poop, nothing happened. <laughs> You're done for. doing anything like surely they would still have a weapon as a backup or something right the blade master though oh we all leveled up hooray i knew that the thing was nothing but a toy the blade master and her cacquin will be here any second need to get out of here now wait a sec Ruth found the jailer's key ring add it to your trinkets look when one of these is the key we need i let's go get anton bruce there's no time is serious i'm not going just i'm not gonna just leave him i don't know what's going on but the stab rat's right prison is a dead end once we get cornered we'll be slaughtered then then i'll die by anton's side i didn't know you had that sort of bravery in you bruce but sorry i promised i'd get you to the surface in one piece and i'm keeping that promise hey stop pushing me <gasps> we should go too right We didn't even get to see what was this way. Yo, we got a full party now! Hooray! All clear, no sign of the escapees, Blade Master. Maybe they're still in the dungeon. Or maybe they've already fled. Excuse me, sweeping one. Has anyone passed through here? Hmm. Ain't seen nobody but Maya. Maya? Yep. Maya Bruma. <laughs> no! <laughs> you shouldn't lie, rat. Insincerity taints the flesh, it ruins the flavor. See, I have a hunger, a deep hunger. A howling void in the pits of my stomach. It's not a hunger that can be satiated by a foul and petty liar. But then again, food is food. 
Uh, Blade Master? Blade Master, the prisoners. Lower the port, Kulis. Double the watch on the battlement. Sky Garden is in full lockdown. Code Rose. Nobody leaves or enters the tree until this mess is resolved. Well, what if the prisoners have already escaped? Then Captain Aiden will be tried for his failure. As will you, Larry. Oh no. <laughs> Losers. Does look like we've, we're being followed. We should be safe out here. Oh, the sun and warmth. I forgot how bright it is outside. Bruce, are you alright? No. This was supposed to be a great day. But everything's gone to shit. And Anton's going to die. I'm sorry. It's fine, Gwen. It's not your fault. Maybe if I were a little braver, if I were a real fighter. Bruce. Hey, Verm, Siobhan. What are you doing here anyway? We're on our way to the Ashen Tower. It's home to the Kaliak, who can help Sir Verm on his quest. Quest? All right, I better fill you in, Gwen. This mad lad wants to kill a god. That's pretty gutsy. Pretty stupid, more like. Whatever, it's all mood right now because I'm following a bad lead. You said you're going to the Ashen Tower, right? Do you know it? Not personally, but... From my cell, I often overheard the Kakwin gossiping. There was some whisper of the Duke once making a pilgrimage there. That's all I know. So the Duke himself is the Kaliak. Maybe the lead is right after all. I wonder why the Duke went. What did he want to know? You probably wanted to ask the secret to being the worst bastard in the world. <laughs> Most likely, the Duke's an absolute pussball of a rodent. I bet he smokes to cover the smell of his own farts. <laughs> Siobhan! Siobhan, where did you learn to speak like that? Why is everyone looking at me? She came up with that filth all by herself. Thanks, all. Thanks all. I needed some levity. Sorry to cut this short, but I need to reach the Ashen Tower before dusk, so Siobhan and I are going to get going. Verm, wait. I was a long shot, but the Kaliak might be able to help me. Like, she might know some way to rescue Anton or something. So I can join you for your trip? Sure. Sure thing. Thanks. I'd like to come too, if it's okay with the rest of you. I'm curious about what lies at the heart of the Ashen Tower. Besides, I want to learn more about this it's god it's god's killing business Doot? well whatever the more the merrier to the gloaming woods i don't know any of these words or how to say it in the accent oh it's the it's the scissor 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 sisters come on Maisie, keep up we're so far from murda are you sure we're going to the right way, Rosie? Remember the intel we gathered from those cheese-breathed rats? And the pawball lads, remember what they said? Good lost, Tin Heads. After that... Yeah, yeah, I know, the vagabond and the noble mole went to the gloaming woods. Right. We're losing the evening light, let's go. Hey, wait up! <laughs> the blowjob brothers! Sure. I can't even tell where the... Oh, the leaves! Where the leaves are blowing? Oh. Oh. Wait. Where did Sir Verm and Lady Gwen just go? I heard a song about the gloaming woods once. They're said to be cursed, spinning around and around. Just wait a moment, maybe they'll backtrack. Makes sense. 
Hey Bruce, I'm worried about Sir Verm. Oretala looks healthy to me. He is, but there's something wrong. It's like he throws himself into things, too much of himself. He wants to find and slay the Yellow God, but I think he'd be fine dying in the process. Aye, I get what you mean. The lad does have a raw recklessness about him. When people get hurt, they lash out, sometimes at others, sometimes at themselves. It's not an easy wound to treat. Ah, damn it! Where did Rosie go? I hate the stupid, confusing forest. Damn it! How did I get lost? I'm so stupid. You all right, Luz? Oh, didn't see you there. I'm looking for my sister. She's a hair taller than me. Got a scissor blade like mine. You've seen her? Um, I can't say that we have, no. All right, no worries. Oh, wait, you're a mole and you're a nobility. Hmm, but this one isn't a mouse. You two wouldn't know anything about a vagabond mouse, would you? Oh, you must mean Sir Verm. Yes, he's a good friend of ours. He should be close by. Gee, Siobhan, you don't have to blab everything. Uh, oh, right. Ha, ah, so you're rodents of interest. I'm taking both in. Don't resist. <laughs> Yo, she looks so cool. What the hell? Oh, she looks awesome. Yo! Uh oh, terror of being a scrub. I'm gonna make Rosie proud. Uh oh. I'm gonna overclock and then encore. Okay, goodbye. Damn it, damn it, damn it! I'm so useless. Goodbye. Any idea what that was about? Not a clue. Wait, we lost someone, or two. Bruce and Siobhan. I didn't even see them wander off. Was that possible? They were right on my tail. Speaking of tails, I don't want to pry, but I noticed that yours is missing and all. So what? I'm not judging, I'm missing parts too. It must be tough to walk without a tail, let alone swing a sword. I cope just fine. So I see. Where did Macy go? A vagabond mouse, but no mole, I wonder. You two. Thimble Garden, you're far from home. I'm looking for two rodents, if you could answer some questions. I don't have to answer to the likes of a crown worshipping tinhead. Listen, I've had a long day. I'm not in the mood to feel more petty insults. So if you don't wish to talk civilly, I have no choice but to draw my sword. Bring it on. What do you say, Verm? Send this tinhead back to Merida. Oh boy. Oh, I should have went berserk. That was stupid of me. That comes off. <laughs> nice sword, but fancy steel won't save you. Too, but I, I kind of enjoyed the look of the other one better with like the little bow Ugh, two on one hardly fair but there's a guard know of fairness come on Verm let's go There you are. Where did you go? Woods are cursed. Aye, that's what I said. Woods are cursed. Hey, listen. These woods are crawling with knights, crawlies, and who knows what else. Let's follow Verm closely. 
Gwen learned rally. Right, you are Gwen, we're following. Oh wait, didn't we also level up? Yeah, I haven't... I haven't leveled up yet. I kind of want to do the bleed build. I'm gonna go with with this. care about seeing HP. Extra against machines. That might be good though. I like that you can respect freely. That's, that's nice. Uh, we're going up. Okay. Run so the precious thing, Javari, Javari, and who shall be the trickster king, Javari, Javari? Kill. Wait, I took a left and a right. Dang, am I lost? You. Oh, uh, hey, what's up? I ought to bury you where you stand, you two-faced rock-swiping Egypt. One of yours? Hardly. This backstabber is the one that got me and my boyfriend locked up. <laughs> well, if you don't want to do the time, isn't it a joke? Are you kidding? Everything's a joke. You need to learn to lighten up and laugh at life. Ah, you're really ticking me off, you smug runt. So what now? You're going to serenade him into an apology? Nah, I think you made a good point earlier, Gwen. There's a time for tootin' and a time for bootin'. And I'm gonna kick his arse all by myself. Bruce Lord Wack! Bring it on, you spoony bard! Oh my god. <laughs> What's this? A second knife? No! <laughs> How does this work? Do I just get to go like two times, three times in a row? Toxic bomb! No! I'm stunned. What's this? A second knife! <laughs> time for Duta and a time for a Flutin. Damn it. there. Who taught Bruce to fight like that? Only the best. Here, take the rock. It isn't shiny, so it's worth nothing to me anyway. The pebble of skewn. Hey, Bruce. I'm sorry. I never intended for you and Ant Anton to get locked up. I'll make this right. And how are you going to do that? Sky Garden's on full alert, and Anton's execution is in the morn. Ah, uh, think of something. Carry on. I think we're getting close. Uh, 
Okay. Well, we... It's supposed to be the Ashen Tower. We're not going any further with this boulder in the way. Hey, bother. We can shift it. We'll have to really put our backs into it. Teamwork, right? Okay, on my mark. Sudden 2D animated Chrono Trigger esque cutscene. <laughs> right, let's head in. That would have been something. Ashen Tower. Nothing besides re beside remains. Nothing beside remains. This feels like a Dark Souls area. Don't say that, it'll crash. Sorry, my man. This isn't they just a tree? I think it's I think it's a city. Or at least it once was. Aye, but there's something familiar about it, right? I feel like I've been here before. Well, it's nothing but ash now. Let's move. The Kaliak is waiting. I guess up we go. Hopefully we can go back to Merida and hand in those quests at some point. What the hell is that? Is that a ghost? There's more ghosts! I think we're at the top, but I can't see a thing. Ah, hold on. Javon learned to spread fire. Dumb Spiro Spero. <laughs> What's that? It's Sor Sorisidan, the language of the Shrew Empire. I'm a little rusty, but I think it translates as while I breathe, I hope. My dad taught it to me. It's the motto, Clan Red. I had my suspicions before, but now I have no doubt. This burnt husk around us is all that remains of Sky Garden. What do you mean? We just came from Sky Garden. Nay, we're standing on the Sky Garden of old. The original city, the real city. The home of Clan Red. When Clan Grey landed in Rodentia some 400 seasons ago, it was near enough for them to kill my ancestors. They had to burn our city, salt the earth, destroy all evidence that us Reds even existed. Bruce, I'm so sorry. So, Duke Josh isn't just a lone tyrant. He's part of something bigger. Something foul that's gone on for generations. There's a Kaliak here. She's on the other side of this doorway. Are you okay to carry on, Bruce? Aye, I want to see what's on the other side as much as you do. Let's prepare ourselves. Oh boy. I don't know, this actually happened in Scotland. Grey squirrels are an invasive species and all but killed off the native Scottish red squirrels. Wow. Well, oh, let's go. Duke. It's late and the tree is in lockdown. What, what are you doing up here? I'm looking for the wayward star. But I can't see it. There are no stars above Rodentia. Not anymore. The gods plucked the starlight from the sky to power their own technology. The thing that the gods dominate, even the distant stars. Their power is beyond imagining. Hey, you remember when you, me, and Evan visited the Ashen Tower a couple of years back? To meet the Kaliak. Yeah, the old hag. I thought she'd tell me about how to make Sky Garden great again, but instead she only told me that stupid prophecy. 
four riders armed with blades divine, rail bared red upon his throne, yada yada. A toothless horoscope. Yeah, yeah, it's all ghosts and musk wolves. But I didn't want to take any chances. Ghosts and musk wolves, huh? You mean the ghosts we just saw going up the, the spiral staircase of the Ashen Tower, huh? So you had me slay the Kaliak. And to slay her I did. I brought you her head on a plate. Right, I figured if the prophecy was real, that would put a stop to it. But now, with that red squirrel returning, and those other weirdos... I refuse. I refuse to give up what is mine. Skygarden is the greatest city in Rodentia. No, it's the greatest city in the whole world! It cannot be overrun by freaks and degenerates. No, the deal, Duke. Keep me fed, and Sky Garden is secure against any threat, be it Squirrel, Titan, or gone. Glad to hear it. I'm off to bed. Help yourself to that chubby hamster in the dungeons if you get a hankering. I'll underestimate my appetite, Duke. She scares me. <laughs> this room's the darkest yet. What's that smell? It's death. And not just red squirrels, shrews, mice, moles, old deaths, new deaths, many freshly slain. It is the den of a titan, and a particularly vicious one at that. I should say something. Hello? I'm looking for the Kaliak. The Kaliak was here, but no longer. Only ashes remain. Oh, well, can you help? Is it going to be an owl? Perhaps. Although my mother is gone, I retain shadows of her wisdom. Hey, Sir Verm? Not to alarm you, but I'm pretty sure that's the Nightwing, that is. Do we like it? Stay calm. Nightwings are fierce, but if things go south, the numbers are on our, our side. You may ask, but one question. Just one. That I need to know. Hmm. Ancient prophecy when the four widows will come, everything will go south. Well, do I ask about the yellow god or if Lance is alive? I guess I can pick, do I want revenge or do I want to know about my brother? I, w I would like to know about my brother. My brother, Lance. I abandoned him when he needed me. Does he forgive me? Forgiveness is a concept for the living. Those who have passed can neither resent nor forgive. We who still breathe must bear the weight of our failures. It hurts. I know. I have answered your question, Mouse. Now you must answer mine. Will you pay tribute? Oh, who? Tribute? There's two of them. T -t tribute! Oh, no. Tribute! What are they? They're owls! Oh, they're kind of cute, though. Man, I picked Yellow God. That was so sad. Yeah, that was sad. Four Titans, huh? That means it's a fair fight. Wow. Really? Oh, boy. I guess we'll go for the one in the middle. Make the egg run with the plain head. I think my favorite is the is the green one. I have a bad feeling about killing one at a time. I feel like that's not gonna work out very well.
Siobhan's a nuke. Yeah, she is. But she's also currently stunned, sadly. Nerve. No, stop stunning her! Man. <laughs> okay, that should be you dead. To the bleed, yeah. Alright, here we go. Oh, I cried at the end! <laughs> I flew away. Think they'll come back? Most likely, Nightwings always return to their roost. We should clear out before dawn. Bruce, are you okay? I'm fine, it's just... This room. The spot. This is where the pebble of skewn belongs. <gasps> Pretty. I'm going back to the Duke's fortress. I want to rescue Anton. Aye, but not just Anton. I want to reclaim the Oaken Throne. Nay, I need to. Every minute that swar sm smarmy duke sits in his high chair is an insult to my clan and my heritage. Bruce. Scotland forever! <laughs> I'm gonna break into Sky Garden. I'm gonna rescue Anton. And I'm gonna punch the duke in his smug face. You three stand with me. Will you help me reclaim Sky Garden for Clan Red? Scholar forever! <laughs> what you're proposing is a military coup. A violent, bloody revolt. Aye. Fam, I'm in. Maybe I can settle my score with that stody blade master. Aging war in Sky Garden sounds terrifying. But you're right, Bruce. We can't just stand by. I'm done letting our lives be ruled by bullies and throne sitters. So, count me in. I want to help however I can. I can't thank you both enough, truly. What about you, Verm? I know we're not best as pals and you didn't owe me any favors. But if you lend your sword, I will dedicate every resource of the city to helping you find and save the Yellow God. We help me take Sky Garden. I will, but you need to think things through first. The Sky Garden soldiers are in high alert, thanks to you. Yeah, let me just walk past everyone through the entire room so I can edgily lean against the wall. Sky Garden soldiers are in high alert, thanks to your antics. Port Coolis is down. The windows are definitely being watched night and day. Pigeons won't fly close out of fear of being shot down. So what's your battle strategy? How do we get in? Well, I haven't thought that far ahead. That's alright, we can make a plan. For a successful siege, we'll need a hundred soldiers of our own. Forty days of rations, weapons, armor. Oh, I could build a siege weapon if you give me a week. Huh? <laughs> ah, there's no time for any of this. Santos getting executed at dawn. That, that only gives us a few hours. We don't have much to work with. This is pointless. I'm out. Wow, Verm. Ah! <laughs> I'm not running away! <laughs> Sir Verm, are you okay? I'm... I'm fine. It's... It's the game's plot railroading me. I... I have to do this! You sure? You're looking more than a bit peely-wally. Never mind me. 
Listen, there may be a way to attack Sky Garden. It's a little crazy, though. It's the kind of plan that can go south in 10,000 different ways. Imagine going to the park on a, on a day and there's one animal sieging a tree. Yeah. I'm surprised we haven't seen any seagulls yet. But I guess we are sort of... I mean, I think we are in London, but... I don't know if, how many seagulls there are in London. I don't expect there to be many seagulls in London. What kind of plan that can go south in 10,000 different ways? They're not exactly selling us on it. I think we should go with Sir Verm's plan. You haven't even heard what it is yet. I know, but... There's this idea where I'm from. Mathiel, it's like... When I couldn't face the fella day threatening my village, Sir Verm drew his blade in support. When we entered the labyrinth outside Murda, Bruce guided the way. When Bruce was thrown in prison, Gwen selflessly jumped in to break him out. That's a really positive spin on those events. Oh, we should let her finish, you daft mouse. <laughs> oh, uh, I lost where I was. Get it, Siobhan. You're saying if we work together, we can do things that would be impossible for us as individuals. The odds are leveled. A foolish plan becomes a rock-solid strategy. Yeah, that's it exactly. Got some teamwork. Is that really all it takes to bring down someone as terrible as the Duke? And got some teamwork killer gone? Well, one problem at a time. Dawn is about to break. The Nightwings will soon return. Verm, tell us the details. I will. Let me just pay my respects to a statue first. Alright, come speak to me here when you're ready. Let me go save my game. <laughs> Ah. Hmm. Okay, well, let's keep going. Ready to let us in on plan V? I am. Everyone listen up, we only get one shot at this. I've roamed this world over a rat-tailed rover. Hey, Bernie. Yeah? The birds are being weird. Weird how? Just get over here and take a look. Oh yeah, they are being weird. Are those night wings? Holy crap! You? Yeah, ah, uh, sorry, I messed up. But I'm trying to fix it. I see. Is Bruce okay? He was when I last saw him. Pack your bags, I'll sneak you out of this dump. Wait, we should free other prisoners too, no? Want all of them? Nobody deserves to be down here. Hmm. That sounds hilarious, let's do it! Oh wow, they're headed right this way. You know all orders, ready the magic missiles. Let's blast the scum out of the sky! The hell's with all this racket? It's barely daybreak. Can't I get a wink of sleep? Uh, Duke Josh, sir. There's been another breakout in the prison. Another one? It's really bad. Every cell door has been opened. The prisoners are rioting. Lamia, are you hearing this? Get down there and sort this chaos out. A breakout, a prison riot, magic missiles at dawn. There's no ordinary chaos. <laughs> Aerial assault, hit the deck! Got him! Oh, Siobhan <laughs> splattered again. I get the juke to safety. You four, kill the intruders. <laughs> this is four fucking musketeers. Slice your dinky swords apart. What 
if we rally? Then we encore on Siobhan. And then she should be able to use her... Her, uh... No, she... Oh, well, she might be able to... No, not yet. Oh, I should have maybe overclocked. People are gonna miss these boss fights because they go hard but have fun. I'll see you later, Kita. I right, get him, Siobhan! Nice. Oh, there's more. Ugh, reinforcements. Get out of our way. Decimated them. Yeah, she does so much damage. Ah, I have one HP. Okay, well, with whack him with Siobhan because uh, Gwen will do a lot of damage. Oh, she can shield break to apply bleed. <clears throat> oh, I crit. Nice. Give it up, scum. Pray loud and maybe the gods will hear your cries for mercy. Just gonna enter this. The Kachu parade? Oh, the hell are you playing at, Sivvy? Today's the day. I'm done getting pushed around. I'm tired of being treated like I don't belong. We're gonna kick some ass and reclaim Sky Garden. Before we chase the Duke, we'll keep these bastards at bay. Oh, well, all right, let's move. Put me down, Lamia, I can walk. Hank, it's Coach Scarlet. Kill the intruders. Don't worry, babe. Nothing gets past me. Call right there, you terrorists. Y'all have no decorum. Here we are, just living our peaceful lives, and you have to go and get violent. You chain me up like a pet cockroach. You were gonna kill me and my boyfriend. Those are two coke fallacies. See, I'm so open to rational debate. How about you rationally debate my sword? Argumentum ad bacalum, as I expected. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Two cock fallacies. <laughs> I don't know those words, man. I'm, I'm a Twitch streamer, okay? That counts nothing but a toy. Perish. Take him out, yeah. Wow! Don't quite have enough for a worm fire. Thank you for the hydrate. Hi, Theros. I hope you're well. The fire damage really didn't do that much. Alright, Reposo. Oh, not quite.
Now you're dead. Okay. Nice. Ugh. Friend skills are as weak as your arguments. Wow. So room, this fellow's really ticking me off. Can I finish him? Please don't ask my permission. If you want to finish him, go. No, I won't tell her no. I mean, he's already down. I'll need to learn about a little thing called civil debate. See, maybe if you had engaged me calmly and rationally, you would have had a chance at winning the argument. But I guess you degenerates don't know the meaning of tolerance. <laughs> nice. Holy shit. Oh, goodbye. Hmm. I'll go with that. the extra damage on bleeding enemies <laughs> drop the anchor hoist the sails we journey east toward a land of universal liberty crystal follows the stars save your game yes come on man sir <gasps> there's more loot ancient tricorn hat is this a costume piece Oh wait, someone had a better weapon than you. Pen is mightier than a sword, apparently. Apparently. Wait, I have an idea. Give me this back. You. Equip this and then this. So it's only a minus four. <laughs> clips to rewind but i guess it could still be a good clip by itself uh hold on plus nine this one's extra health hmm i mean she does only have 18 i think that might not be too bad on her Ah, now I can, uh... Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> Thought maybe now I could uh, switch his equipment, but... Okay, there we go. This is like Hank's in trouble. Duke, head to the roof. I'll deal with the intruders. Rub them up, Blade Master. Oh, boy. This is as far as you go. Really? Maybe a stoat and a blade master, but you're outnumbered four to one. Don't let guard down, dude. She's called Peerless for a reason. That's just a title. A title well earned. Oh boy, here we go. You want to know how I earned the title of Peerless? It's not because of my battle record, flawless as it is. Fancy armor won't save you. Wait, how much health? Oh boy. <laughs> oh 
might have to snooze that ad. <laughs> Thirty-six. Sheesh. It's because as the gods' territory grew, food ran scarce. My friends and family all fled to the outlands. I was the only stoat stubborn enough to stick around. Redentia. Lamia the loner, Lamia without peers. Oh, I don't have enough for Ali. What if we give her an encore and then we use rally on her and then everyone gets energy back and then we'll be able to do the two energy attacks. Oh, there so I'm here to assist you. Well timed, soldier. She's gonna eat him! Oh my god. <laughs> Disgusting. What kind of creature eats their own? My own? No, the squirrels were never my peers. They viewed me with contempt, only tolerating my presence because I served their ends. As payment, they let me eat my fill of the condemned. And yet... I always hungered for more. Oh, it goes hard. Late Master or Titan, I'll take you down either way. Okay, I'm just gonna, uh, sword break, I think. <laughs> That's not good. That was awesome. Come on, let me a turn. The music is so good, man. <laughs> Oh, like crit? Uh, I should honestly just heal him. Heal him, uh, himself. Cause he's kind of lonely. Got her. I think she's done. But she's still standing. Aye, health, but not down. 
Can you hear me, Blade Master? I get it. The hunger. The dark pit that grows inside you when you're completely alone. But if you fill that void with the company of fascists... And you can perish with them. Proposal. Yay! Let's go, the Juke Awaits. Yay, we leveled up! Yippee! Wait, hold on. I kind of want this more than the other stuff. There we go. Um, you've got one left. There we go. It might be useful. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm gonna go take a quick break, uh, then we'll do the fight, and then I think we'll already have to stop for today. So yeah, we'll, we'll do a quick, take a quick break, and then we'll uh, finish up this arc, I suppose, hopefully. Okay, I'll be right back. Thank you for your patience, everyone.
Oh, any coin flippers? I see 10 channel points in the pool. <laughs> Thank you for waiting. Hello. We got 10 channel points versus 10 channel points. Let's go. <laughs> ah, not quite 10 to 10. So let's suck at another 10 after. <laughs> Big money. <laughs> well, enjoy your, I don't know, five channel points each. <laughs> I think. Anyway, thank you all for, for waiting for the ads and stuff. I appreciate it very much. Let's go beat. Let's go beat. Let's go kick some ass. How about that? Up we go. So Lamia failed. I never thought I would lose the throne to a bunch of misfits and freaks. The throne was never yours to lose, Duke. Your ancestors took what wasn't theirs. How is that my fault, huh? Why should I be punished for something my great-great-grandpappy did? What do you mean? You're still being an asshole, though! This isn't, a, isn't it about punishment. It's about me being able to, t t to walk freely on my own land. If you had shown an ounce of compassion, it would never have came t come to this. Ugh. <laughs> My tongue's getting all tied. Compassion, what a grotesque word. You didn't invade Sky Garden with love and friendship. You won through sheer violence. Domination that is the only meaningful thing in this world. You, you didn't see a difference in what we fight for. Ruth, save your breath. To filth like this, nothing matters outside of what he can grasp in a clenched paw. Everyone loves to preach their own ideology, but when the doom comes, morals and virtues don't matter. You can be the squirrel sitting on high, or you can be the rat languishing in the dirt. And the doom is coming, you know. The Kaliak told me herself. The Kaliak? Oh, yeah, she warned me all about your little reaping party. Four riders wielding blades divine, seed raybeard ray red upon his throne. The legal city's thirteenth chime convokes the god of ash and bone. What the hell does all that mean? It's me, but it's your problem now, losers. Later. <laughs> oh my god! Whoa, what a jump! I'll catch the bastard. Nay, bother. If he wants to run scared for the rest of his days, let him. Lapa! Anton, you're okay. Aw. Oh, Floriard! Ah, Bruce learned sweet Arya. How cute. I thought there would be another fight. Ah! Damn it, my jump was perfect. But that landing, that could have used some work. Men, to me! Soldiers, fall in! Anyone? Yeah, Lamia, you're still alive. She's gonna eat you. That's good. Let's regroup and kick some tail. It's time to pay tribute, Duke. Tribute? You'll get paid when we defeat those degenerate tr terrorists. No, I'm hungry now. Tribute must be paid. Lamia, please, what's gotten into you? I am the Duke, your superior, and your employer! Lamia, please, stop this at once! L Lamia! Lamia! Um, rum, rum. Um, rum. <laughs> he's being eaten by taking poison damage. I don't know, he's gonna, he's gonna have to be eaten one bite at a time. That's kind of like taking poison damage. So, what happens now? I'm not entirely sure. You take the, the throne, Lapa. It belongs to your clan, after all. Absolutely not. It would nay feel right to 
to place one squirrel juke with another. It's for the people of Sky Garden to decide. That's only right and fair. Maybe we can gather everyone for a round table discussion or something. For all that, the city needs cleaning up. There are injured to attend to and dead to bury. And we need to figure out what to do with all the captured soldiers, like. Not just throw them in the dungeon and be done with it. It's what they deserve. It's a fraction of what they deserve, but the idea of keeping any rodent in a cage makes me feel sick. Even the bastard Kakun. That's how you feel even after they locked you behind bars. It's the other way around. After rotting in that dungeon for a month, I'm more convinced than ever. Well, then what do we do? Sounds like a tough problem. And the cleanup job will be hard work too. Sorry, I can't stick around and help. You're leaving already, Worm. I heard the Duke's message. That weird riddle. I don't know any place called Regal City, so I better get searching. I might be in a far-off country. Sir Verm, I believe Regal City is a reference to Murida. I figured as much, too. As the king, after all. Oh. Well, what about that 13th chime stuff? Hmm, that line perplexes me. The bells above Murida only strike up to 12 times. But let me come with you, Sir Verm. We can go to the library and figure out the prophecy together. As if I could stop you. <laughs> Merida. <laughs> hey, Verm. I remember my promise. When Sky Garden's all cleaned up, I'll do everything in my power to help you. You have my support as well. I wouldn't be free without you. I want to repay the favor. Well, thanks, both of you. And good luck with the cleanup. Aye, safe travels. Yay! Okay, let's go back to Merida. Have a quick look around, hand in the side quest. Uh, and then we'll see. This? It's nothing. You should see the other guy. It's so weird seeing this guy again. I was in jail in the first place. Why was I in jail in the first place? Buddy, I haven't the foggiest. Oh, uh, thank you for the stretch. Uh, no joke, does that mean no more pledges? Ugh. I was running away in the dungeons when suddenly a dapper hamster and a rogue jerboa busted my cell door open. Next thing I knew, it was an all-out brawl. Guards versus inmates. Wild times. I don't suppose you're Matilda. Yes, I am. Wait, let me guess. That pesky abuzado roped you into running his errands. Yeah, yeah, you're not the first. Well, go on. What did he saddle you with? He wanted you to dye some cloth. Gosh, golly, is that all? He sent you all this way for a tiny square of fabric? That's good silk, though. A grade. A plus even. No denying that. What color did he ask for? Red. Hmm, what shade specifically? I don't fucking remember. Red. It's literally all red to me. Well, okay, I'll take my best guess. I'll die at lickety split. Sit, sit tight for a moment. Ta -da! You see the dyed silk square. Yep, that's some shade of red, alright. Go and tell Mr. Abuzado that if he keeps this up, this up, if he keeps up his nonsense, the guard's gonna come a knocking, you hear? Unless you're doing something illegal. Gosh, golly, you've got no idea. Run along now. Scarlet red? Probably, yeah. Lots of cleaning to do. Can't even remember why I was in prison, it was so long ago. We shoved all the guards into the dungeon and locked the doors, not sure what the next step is. Are we supposed to hold a big trial? Thanks for helping to free me, I was arrested for eating mushrooms. As in magic mushrooms? What, they've got magic mushrooms now? Holy moly, I've been missing out. It's just been microdosing Portobello is like a total lemon. Psst. Freedom! Dizzy? Yay! I got worried for a second. Oop, I'm running late. Traffic, you know how it is. The flocks are all flapping uh, and grabbing about some loud noise over at Sky Garden. You guys have an all-night rave or something? Something like that. Nice, nice. Anyway, Murda, is it? It is. How did you know? Just figures I've been taking roses from Sky Garden to Murda all morning. First a pair of mouse nights, then some weirdo squirrel. But it don't bother me. Hop in the basket when you're ready. A weirdo squirrel?
maybe the uh the head honcho escaped after all. So we pursued a lead to the gloaming woods outside Sky Garden. However, despite our best efforts, we were bested in combat by the Vagabond and his party. Then the mission was a failure. I'm afraid so. I deeply apologize, Your Majesty. I will not falter again. So much for the Thimble Guard's finest. Thank you for the report, Rosaline. I'll debrief you and Maisie later. Dismissed. Blade Master, Your Majesty. <laughs> oh, there. This is the the weirdo squirrel. Ah. <laughs> ah. Boy, I am unfit, lol. Well, I used to pitch attacks rank so far from the palace. I'll need one of them shuttle bug services or something. Oh, well, well. If it isn't War Master Evan of Sky Garden, the lowest scoring pupil at the university, as I recall. Don't hate, old man. A pass is a pass, lol. Why are you here, Lore Master? Ah. Uh... Oh, yeah, lol. Sky Garden's been, like, invaded. Invaded? Lol, yeah, crazy times. I like managed to slip away, but it looks like Juke Josh was dethroned and eaten. Lol, eaten. <laughs> this is no time for lols. Who was the invading army? Army? I don't know. It was more like a bunch of randos. <laughs> like there was this red squirrel harlequin, an albino dragon rat criminal. Who else? Uh, some noble mole with, like, fire magic. Yeah, and an edgy vagabond mouse with a big-ass sword and no tail. See what I mean? A total ragtag party, am I right? Lol. We'll need a full report. Return to us with a detailed account of events and we'll be able to properly assess the situation. Got it. See ya, Majesty. Peace out, old man Orphe. <laughs> Shit. What a foul mess. I never cared for that oatfish juke. But I'm going to look incompetent if I let my kingdom's cities be ransacked so easily. And by whom, my gang of marauders? Mouse and mole descriptions match those from the Cranbale letter and Rosaline's investigations. Or may deduce that this is the same pair. This vagabond is fast building a dangerous reputation. We underestimated him. That's a random burp that you really went to. Lol. <laughs> we, excuse me, we underestimated him. Was it not you who suggested that I ignore the vagabond, Leo? Well, yes, but I acted on... Spare me your excuses. You offered bad counsel. Come to think of it, Aquila was the one who... To warn me of the true danger this mouse posed. That, that is true, however... Why did we even remove Aquila from the council in the first place? Because they experimented on... By the gods, shut up already. I will make this right, your majesty. Indeed you will. Go. Lord Master, can Leo's judgment be trusted? I witnessed his valiance at Soul Hill. I saw his fine needlework at the 300th Royal Tourney in Vinium. There is no doubt, Leo is the epitome of chivalry, a knight among knights. Your mother taught so, thought so too. She called Leo the greatest blade master since Archura. Even the finest blade eventually doles. Summon Plague Master Aquila. Your Majesty. Evidently, the rat's inside holds value. A pardon is an order. Blade Master. Oof. Man, he looks pissed. Hold thy tongue, Sir Steve. Sorry, Sir Diego. <laughs> Thank you, DZ. The station's murder. I hope you had a pleasant flight. <gasps> oh, I guess I'll go through. Yay! Oh. <gasps> a vagabond mouse and a noble mole. Are we gonna fight him? Your vermin, Lady Siobhan, correct? Field mouse with a thimble guard, get up, you must be. Blade Master Leo, the Needle Knight. AKA, the person you've looked up to all your life, Verm? 
Oh my god, this is gonna be rough. <laughs> the Blade Master Leo? I've got no doubt. He's exactly how I imagined. You know, you were my idol when I was a kid. It's a pity this meeting couldn't be under more favorable circumstances. I am here to arrest you. For what? Initially, the charge was the kidnapping of a noble lady. But I'm not kidnapped. And Siobhan's old lady. <laughs> but now I understand that you were both integral agents to the recent coup at Sky Garden. I wouldn't say integral. That's treason all the same. Also, word in the tunnels is that you are plotting to assault a god. Word in the tunnels travels fast. That's high blasphemy. An impressive list of crimes for a common vagabond. I fear I already knew, know the answer, but duty compels me to ask. Will you come quietly? Nope. Unfortunate. Although in truth, I was hoping you would say that. See, I am curious. I've never seen a mouse wield a weapon like yours. It must be quite a weight. I wonder how you even managed to swing it. Let's make this a formal duel. A trial by blades. If you win, I'll let you and Lady Siobhan go. It's that simple. And I have your word. Of course, on my honor as a knight. But if you lose, not a chance. Very well. Sir Verm, we should run. No interfering, it's just me and the vagabond. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh boy. Get ready, Vulp Slayer. Please go right ahead. <gasps> the parry! Is that all? Come on, swing harder. Sure, you can do better than that, Vagabond. Are you just standing there? Getting tired, are we? Ha! I'm just getting started. Something is off with your technique. Shut up and fight back. Oh, I see the problem. You have no weight. Nor do you, Pipsqueak. You misunderstand. If you fight for nothing, then your strikes will always lack weight. Show us what you know. I fight for plenty. Show me. Ooh. Huh. Interesting. Do you concede? Concede? Vagabond, I've killed warriors and worms, blade masters and vulps. To put down a whelp like you. Half a sword is all I need. Holy crap! <laughs> What's with the music? I won't save you. Awesome. Sir Verm! Huh? Sir Verm. He didn't deserve that. No, you're probably right. Then why? It wasn't too different from that mouse when I was first knighted. I blazed with righteous anger. I drew my sword at any injustice, big or small. But I quickly learned that unchecked rebellion only burns those around us. Better to stamp out the spark while it's young before it can engulf a whole kingdom in flames. What happens now? Now you come with me. Any common mole would see the guillotine for the crimes you've assisted in. But you have a friend in a high place. They negotiated a plea bargain with the king. Friend in a high place. Mommy? Plague Master Aquila. I have no idea what that conniving cur wants with you. Just pray that you don't end up on their operating table. Let's go. My side quests! <laughs> no! 
Well. <laughs> Autumn. Mm. Well, anyway, time to end stream. Yeah. It is kind of time to end stream, isn't it? <laughs> All right, we'll see where this this cutscene leads us. Ah, oh, just here. Where is that assistant? Thirty seconds late. Most unsatisfactory. <gasps> she has like a wizard hat now. You're late. Sorry, Plague Master. I had an errand to run. An errand of getting a new hat. Vital activities. Oh, you noticed? I have adjusted to the style of the pyromancers from the days of Artura. I know the pyromancers were an all-male organization, but I thought, well... It's very that essentialist apologia. You know my views. Gender is arbitrary. Meaningless. Just a distraction from that which truly matters. Science? Exactly! must pursue knowledge no matter how repulsive or blasphemous the truth we uncover may be thus we shall continue to work on our dark and hubristic project behold oh. right the mustroid <laughs> looking on siobhan please pass me the screwdriver on the far left no i'm leaving fine i need to end stream The other left. This left? Picked up the screwdriver. Thank you. It's strange. Half the city thinks your experiments are something sinister. That your mutilating body is trying to create some unholy abomination. Of course they do. It's easier to blame the boogie mouse of academia than to acknowledge the true cause of society's ills. Screwdriver on the far right, if you please. No, the one in the actual right. <laughs> Thank you. I have principles. I have ethics. Want to see a scientist who doesn't know where to draw the line? Go to Whitehall. Go witness what the gods get up to there. Smallest screwdriver, please. Ever learn how to read godly writing it? Maybe a killer can teach me someday. Hi, Isaac. I hope you're well. Wait, Hall, that name is familiar. Don't distract me. This part's delicate. See, if I cross these two wires, then... Ha, ah, it's active. Lo loading. Hello, world. Oh, hello, Mustroid. This is amazing, Plague Master. You've created life. This is life. Hello, world. No, I am not so naive as to be fooled by such superficiality. And nor are you. It's clear what we've created here. A puppet, a toy. Barely a simulacrum of a simulacrum of life. Hello, world. Just looking at this pitiful thing fills my stomach with disgust. Siobhan, destroy it. Destroy it, but we just spent a month building it. I don't care. Get it out of my sight. Okay. Worthless. Totally, utterly worthless. I'm being too harsh on yourself, Plague Master. Look at how much progress we've made. We can revise the design and try again. The rodent's life is short and pathetic. The gods have lifespans 100 times our own. They have time to make mistakes, to broaden their knowledge and grow. But we don't get second chances. We scramble in the dirt for every pitiful second we can get. Like Master, I want to ask about the Yellow God. I keep telling you, Murda is prepared. 
I mean no disrespect, but how exactly? If Duke Josh's prophecy is true, then a deathly god is coming to murder. Every rodent in the city will be in danger. We have no plan. We don't even know the date. Prophecies are for fools, and Duke Josh had nuts for brains. But even a cracked bell can ring true. Once per year, the gods turn their clocks back one hour. Heavens know why. Heavens knows why. The gods love their peculiar rituals. But in any case, the result is a night with a witching hour. A night when the clock strikes thirteen, as it were. Thirteen chimes. What I've translated of godly papers and pamphlets, something foul may indeed be approaching on that date. And when that happens, Excalibur will protect the place. Excalibur? The mythical sword? Would you like to see it? I would! I can show you, but there is a condition. What sort of condition? A rodent's life is short and pathetic, and I am very old for a rat. My bones creak, my senses dull, tumors infest me. I won't live to see the end of winter. I'm, I'm so sorry. Don't be. Death is inevitable. But the knowledge of science need not perish with our bodies. When I pass, I want you to continue my work. I want you to pick up the mantle of Plague Master. Me? You're astute, capable, scientifically minded. I can't think of anyone better suited to the job. Except, and I will reveal to you the secrets of Excalibur. Well, I... Don't be hasty. Dwell on it. Actually, go ahead and take the rest of the day off to give it proper consideration. You can give me your answer tomorrow. Okay, thank you, Plague Master. Um, am I free to leave the city? Oh, people to see? That's fine. Consider it an act of trust. Thank you, Plague Master. I'll be back soon. What's up, Siobhan? Hope the Plague Master's not working you ragged. Well, it's just me now. Well, I suppose that will be it for today. <laughs> Do I have my I have my side quest objects? Okay. With this, we can at least do the side quest next week. <laughs> Thanks for the stream. Thank you all for coming. I hope you had fun. This was quite the uh, session of Small Saga. Uh, thank you all for coming, everyone. I hope you guys have been enjoying the uh, daytime streams. I've uh, I've had a good time with them so far. Um. So yeah. We'll uh, play more Small Saga. I don't exactly know when yet. I have my whole birthday marathon coming up now. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to be live at the usual evening time. And we're going to check out No Rest for the Wicked, most likely. Um, but then, on Friday, it's my birthday celebration. I've been working really hard preparing everything for it. Uh, we're going to do a two-week event thing. Over the weekend, we're going to do three really long streams back-to-back. Uh, please check out the stuff on Twitter, uh, as Isaac linked it. Here's, here it is again. Um, but that'll be on Friday. My birth It's not yet my birthday. <laughs> my birthday's on Friday. Uh, my goal with the event is really just to have a good time. And if we can fund a couple things, uh, I'll, be, I'll be happy. But um, yeah, I just want to have some fun. Uh, replay some games I've wanted to replay and, and hang out with friends and, and stuff. Um, but yeah, check out check out the event post. There's all the info there in the in the Twitter thread, including uh, what we're going to do, you know, funding goals and, and rewards and stuff like that. So yeah, check it out. Um, as for today, we're going to be doing a movie hangout over on Discord. If that interests you, consider joining our server. It's also a great place to stay updated with me and what I do. Um... And if not, I'll see you all tomorrow. Let me have a look at who's live, if there's someone we can rain. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for coming. I hope you had fun. Mm. Aura is playing Persona. How are we feeling about some Persona chat? Persona 3 Reload. I feel like that could be fun to stop by. Aura is really sweet. 
Okay, I'll see you all either on the Discord in a little while. Check the Discord events to see when. Uh, or tomorrow or Friday. Friday, I'm going to be live early again, but I'm going to be live all day. Um, so yeah, thank you all for coming. There's already a message and that's probably for the boost. I appreciate your time. Thank you for coming out even during the uh, daytime streams. I really do appreciate it. And... Um, yeah, have a good one, everyone. I'll see you then. Also, thank you for supporting us on Patreon as well. DLT, Boom Game, Made Hershey's Kita, Metro Milo, Shut and Sock, Ultra One, Zorby, Fortification, Mr. Kiga, Unknown, Zero Skies, Kench, Frizzilla, Isaac, and Trigger. Thank you very much. I didn't forget this time. Who could have thought? <laughs> anyway, thank you all. See you later or tomorrow. Have a good, good day, everyone. Not a good night, a good day. <laughs> bye bye. See you soon. Bye bye.